the smell of plastic is just like, oh, oh, my strange addiction. What's up guys, it's Sandy here and I'm back for another video. In today's video, I'm going to finally do something I've been talking about for like three videos by now. And that is my video game collection. The games that I keep in this bag are like my all-time favorite ones. So, you know, we're gonna get into that later. But if you're interested in seeing more, go ahead and like and comment on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and become a part of Sincerely You Nation. Sincerely You Gay. Why do I keep saying that? No, I'm dark, I don't condone gangs. Butterflies, the ladybugs, and you know, make my day. I have gained, guys. If you haven't noticed, by the time this video came out, I probably gained more. But I have gained 17 subscribers in two days. Like, you guys, thank you so much for you guys for supporting me and deciding to subscribe on, subscribe on my channel. My camera's kind of crooked, so if it looks like that in the video, I'm sorry. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and checking me out and giving your girl a chance. I really appreciate that. Thank you guys for the people who have subscribed now when this video comes out. Thank you. I appreciate the love. I really get to know. <laughs> I need it. I need Erica, give me a tissue. <gasps> Thank you, girl. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's roll right into the video. So, you guys haven't figured that out already, which you probably haven't. I am somewhat of a video game person. I think I've talked about it in other videos. I'm not 150 if I did or not. But I'm sort of a video game fanatic um even though it may not look like it from the amount of games i have um i like to play games or buy games that i know i'm going to play instead of one of those who just buy games just to have the game so when it comes to buying video games i don't want to buy it because ooh the case looks nice or ooh i may play this but i don't know right now so whatever I buy a game, it's because I genuinely want to play it right then and there. I want to play it, I want 100 percent it. So if it's if I don't feel like that, then I won't buy it. So let's get into the video. So the first game that I have is Assassin's Creed Origins. I got this in about in 2018. No, I got it in 2017, I believe. And you know, I saved up most of these games that I have, I saved up just enough money or I somehow found a way to get the money to buy this game or a family member bought it for me. Yeah, da, 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 da. I really, I can, I beat this game. I didn't hundred percent it, but I really, really like this game. This game was, so it's like the story behind it being Bayak, you know, the homie. It was, it was awesome. Like I, I really enjoyed this game and I beat that. And at the ending, it was just like, I'm not going to get into that. The next game that I have is Watch Dogs 2. Now, I distinctly remember saving up just enough money to get this game. I haven't beat this game yet, but my sister has. And she said the ending was hard. I don't know. If you guys play it, let me know down in the comments if the ending was hard. I haven't beat it, personally beat it yet. Um, but I want to. I want to beat all these games. I have beat about the majority of them. So I have... a. Watch Dogs 2, a really good game. I like the Watch Dogs series, even though I haven't played the first one. Yes, I have. That's a lie. I have it on the PC. I have the first game on the PC, so in the future, I might be able to play that for you guys. <laughs> the next game I have on my list is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Got this in November of 2018 for Black Friday. It was $17 at Walmart on Black Friday. I, why wouldn't I buy this? That would be stupid. See, I haven't beat it yet getting there um yeah like like i said i really like assassin's creed games so when i seen this and i watched gameplay and all the cool stuff that you could do i had to go ahead and snatch this i would i would be a fool if i if i didn't like that would be what so the next game that i have on my list this game isn't mine it's my sister's it's destiny 2 destiny 2 the disc is not in here. I personally don't like Destiny, but it's a cool, I've watched because my dad loves that game and so does my sister and my brother. They really love Destiny. I personally don't like Destiny, but 
it's a cool is it an rpg first person first, i know it's the first person shooter i know that but is it an rpg it's a it doesn't say so <laughs> destiny so the next game i have on my list it's actually mine it's mafia 3 i have not played one and two but a game with the black protagonist i gotta play it you feel me so i did beat this game i beat mafia 3 it came with a little brochure map thing i really like this game the storyline of this game is to me it's a ah. yes it got a little see for me when people say something got repetitive to me killing races i'm just gonna stop while i'm ahead <laughs> but mafia 3 really good game really good game next game which i'm pretty sure everyone has this game is gta 5 I'm pretty sure every person on the face of this earth has this game either for PC, Xbox, 360, Xbox One, PS4, and PS3. Like, everyone has this game. I have the premium online edition, even though I don't have PlayStation Plus. I had it when I got the game, but I don't have PlayStation Plus, so you don't have the game. I beat this game, of course. I mean, if you, if you didn't beat it, you're, you're a swine, honestly. You know, the map came with a little map. Some other booklets in here I don't really care about. Uh, oh, can I almost show y'all something? Oh no, I already put that code in. So <laughs> you know, with baby girl on the on the on the little CD thing, baby girl looking nice. So yeah, Watch Dogs Five. I mean, the next game that I have is a PlayStation exclusive. I actually had two PlayStation exclusive games, which were God of War Four, but that game got stolen. Someone stole my game. So I don't have that no more. But I did have God of War 4 and I didn't even get a chance to beat it yet. So whoever, if you're watching this, whoever stole my GTA 4, just know. I'm coming. <gasps> That's my dogs! Don't worry, y'all. They good. They, they good. Let me know down in the comments if you like corn dogs because let me just put set this aside. No, I gotta finish it. Sincerely, you gotta. Sincerely, you gotta. Fly by. I have Horizon Zero Dawn, which is like. This game is freaking beautiful. I beat this game too. This game is freaking beautiful. Like, the art design, it's like. It was beautiful. Like, the. Who made this? Gorilla Games. You know, the inside, the little thing on the inside. The CD. Like. The art design, the way they made Aloy look, like, like she was pretty, bro. Like, this is Horizon. If you haven't played Horizon Zero Dawn, and you have a PS4, I didn't play it on the Pro. I think I already said that. I didn't play it on the Pro, so I didn't get the full moi from the game. But if you have a PS4 and have not picked up this game yet, I got this game for fifteen dollars, like two years ago. I think it was. Yeah. So get this, okay? Did they even still sell this? I don't know, but pick this up. Next game on this list. It's like, looking at them all stacked up together, it seems like I have a whole lot of games, but I kind of don't. The next game on my list is actually not mine. It's my sister's is Far Cry New Dawn. I have not beat this, but my sister says she's on the final level, the final mission or whatever. I personally only played it like for a little bit. So, you know, the CD. I personally haven't got a chance to beat this yet you know i played like the beginning sequence and like a mission or two after that right zero dawn <laughs> next thing that i have on my list is lego worlds i'm gonna tell you guys something about me i love i capital l o v e lego games i freaking love lego games like everything in me i've grown up playing lego star wars the complete saga on playstation 2 Freaking Lego Indiana Jones 1 and 2 on PlayStation 2. Lego Batman, the video game. Lego Harry Potter, I play Lego Harry Potter. The creativity that goes into make it playing a Lego game, I just, I love, I love Lego games, y'all. I just, I can't fathom or explain to you guys how much I love Lego games. So I got this for Christmas two years ago. Lego Worlds. Like, this game is so dope. Like, you can legit build it's like you're it's like a whole bunch of different biomes and you travel there and you can discover a bunch of stuff and people you can build whatever 
You can build to your heart's content. You can build whatever your mind can make up. Like you can do everything. I live worlds. If there ain't, if there's no one game, if you don't listen to Game Horizon Zero Dawn or Mafia Three or Assassin's Creed, whatever the other games are, get this game. Okay, get this game. The other people who grew up on playing Lego games, go ahead and tell me down in the comments or hit me with. Is there like a Lego emoji? If there is, do one of those. If it's not, put a heart. Because you love Lego games as much as I love Lego games. Because I freaking love Lego games. Like Lego games. Actually, moving on to my favorite games. Even though 40s I haven't played yet. Well, no, that's a lie. Two of these I haven't played yet. So, back on the store on PlayStation 4, I have Far Cry 5. A lot of people, I feel like a lot of people didn't like this. I think a lot of people didn't like this game. I really enjoyed this game. I beat this game. The end game was dope. I liked it. I haven't played any of the other editions. Like I don't mess with zombie games. That's a no show. Like I don't I don't I don't mess with it. Ooh. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Yeah, Far Cry five. With the um I was about to say Johnny Apple C. The last name was Seed, right? Yeah, Joseph C. We got Joseph C. Faith C. Jacob C. What was his name? Adam C. I don't remember what the freak his name was. But yeah, Far Cry 5, I really like this game. I like the whole point of killing people. I like the whole point of killing people. I like the whole point of killing <laughs> so, Far Cry 5, it's a really dope game, really dope game. I got this game for $35 on Amazon like two years ago. Um, are you looking for any games, honestly? I, I told you guys this before in my Christmas wishlist video. Go to Walmart first before you buy any game because Walmart has the games marked down better than like Target, Best Buy. Well, I can't really say Best Buy, but yeah, they have a better marked down than Target, Best Buy, sometimes even better than Amazon, unless you had Prime and you get money taken off anyway. But go to Walmart first because that's where I got the majority of these games. Like, I got, oh, I got Mafia from Best Buy, Walmart, Walmart, GameStop, Amazon, Walmart, GameStop, Walmart. I believe. I think this came from Walmart. And I got this from Amazon. So yeah, it was marked. It was originally, you know, $60 when it first came out. And I got it for $34, well, $42, well, $35 plus tax. Or something like that. I think it was something like that. But I got this from Amazon. And another great game that I beat but I still want to go through and do other stuff is Detroit Become Human. You can't really see it because I changed the art, but that's the art for the inside. I really like that. Here's the official cover art for Detroit Become Human. This game is a complete masterpiece. Like, dude, different choices is so overwhelming. Like, I want to go through and do, technically, I went and did all the bad choices first. You know, if you guys haven't played it, I'm sorry about to spoil it. But, you know, the end where Connor and you kill everybody off, yeah. But actually with Kara and Alice, I got them hit by the car, you know the little part when they're running through the road? Yeah, I got them hit just to see what would happen and they never came back. <laughs> so I never got to play through their storyline. If you haven't played it yet, what I told you was just part of the storyline. There's so many different storylines, so you probably won't even get the same thing I got. But yeah, this game is amazing. I heard who produced this? Quantum Dreams. So yeah, this is only on PlayStation. It's PlayStation exclusive. Got this from Walmart as well. PlayStation exclusive, so you can't play it on Xbox or any of that garbage. I'm sorry. I really know. You should switch over to PlayStation anyway. <laughs> the final game that I have for PS4 is... I want to see if you guys guessed it. Red Dead Redemption 2. The still book cover, okay? Uh -huh. Because I'm a G from the NYC. Won't you look at me, baby? <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Oh, okay. oh, thank you guys so much. Oh my god, oh. I have Red Dead Redemption 2, the still book case. You want to know how I got the still book case? Because I went to Walmart, baby boy, and I got it for $40. But it's like, but it's cheaper now at Walmart. It's like way cheaper. You got the still book case. I had to hit you with that. Like I was so happy. And it was the last one in the thing too. And I was like, oh, can I get, no, it was two of them. But it's like, what sucks? 
me show you guys this that it was dented i don't know if you guys can see that it's dented right there and i didn't even know until i got home and i opened it so i was kind of salty about that because i like me personally i don't like digital copy games i don't like having unless i have to i don't like having digital copies i love hard copies i like to be able to look at my game pick it up put the cd in the thing or cartridge or whatever it is and play i don't want to have a digital things and plus digital takes a lot more space than hard copies so you know you got the cds because you know red dead came with two cds two discs this is the play disc and it's the download the data disc so it came with two discs <laughs> discs <laughs> tits the map of new hanover i'm not opening it because it takes forever to close it back up but it comes with a map and then the inside cover art hope you guys can you guys see that hope i'm not holding it too high so yeah and then you know the back so and then the little this part it comes it shows you Red Dead Redemption 2 hope it can fo hope it's focusing I don't have to go like this one and then the back is there any game that I bought for full price no I'm not that crazy I ain't buying no game for no $59.99 I me f***ed up like I mean, messed up. Just this closure, I did not curse. So, I, I, yeah. I got Red Dead Redemption 2. It's the best game. Like, oh, the immersion in this game. It's amazing. Oh. Oof. Oof. Micah, 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 Micah. But I have some words for you, Micah. And if you guys, I have played the original, the first Red Dead, the prequel Red Dead. I have played that one. I didn't beat it because back then I just like to ride my horse around and kill people. Again, guys, I'm not, I'm not crazy. Guys, I'm I cried. Oh, when I tell you, I cried at the end. I'm not going to say nothing. But I'm about to cry at the end. I cried so hard at the end of this. Oh. I did not beat the epilogue part. Um, I stopped playing after the end before the epilogue because i was just so heartbroken i couldn't even i couldn't go on i was so heartbroken so no i did not finish the epilogue so please do not spoil it down below i started a little bit of it i began a little bit of it so i have a clear idea of what the epilogue is going to be about but no i did not beat it so again do not spoil it i will find you so the last couple of games i have are, I showed you guys this in my Christmas wish list video and these are my switch games which I don't have a switch yet but that is coming the Laura says I will get it so I will get it first game on my list is you know Dragon Quest I showed all these games in the other video we have Dragon Quest Builders 2 I got this game cut the code because I think y'all split no I'll just take it out because y'all think y'all split <laughs> I actually bought this game a couple of days or weeks after it came out. So I got a little add-on, the little slime ball thingy I got add-on. So I have to cover it because since I don't have a Switch, I haven't been able to register it. So yeah. And, you know, this is the original art from the front and then the Dragon Quest 1 style art on the back. No, I have not played Dragon Quest 1. No, I didn't know Dragon Quest 1 was a thing. And you're going to see when I show you guys this that I put different games, cartridges in different cases. And it's basically a game for myself. And when I do get the Switch and I want to play a game, I have to guess which game that I want to play is in the case. So it's just something I wanted to do with myself because I'm crazy. <laughs> what is wrong? Yeah, Dragon Quest Builders 2. Okay, I played the demo on PS4 and that's what made me buy this. So, Dragon Quest Builders 2. I have from the thing you saw, I have Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I had to get this game because I've never played a Zelda game. And I always thought that his name was Zelda. I didn't know his name. I didn't know his name was Link. So, I called him. <laughs> I thought because it was like Legend of Zelda and he was always a main character, I thought his name was uh, Zelda. How stupid I felt. Here's the inside art. And you see I have Super Mario Odyssey hanging out in there. The inside art, the cover. I can't, I've been watching videos on this. It looks really dope. I like the 
RPG style stuff, the collecting and eating. I like the stuff. That's why I fell in love with Red Dead because you have to eat, you have to sleep and stuff like that. So that's why I fell in love with this. And it's like, that's like my all time favorite game of all time. So The Legend of Zelda after a while. And then I have Super Mario Odyssey, the Traveler's Guide. And you know, here's the, here's the outside, the side in the back and it, you know it comes with the traveler's guide book which has like six different languages in it so it's english spanish french i think siete and more continent test or less let me stop before i offend someone they call them a fat whore or something <laughs> from seaside kingdom show you a little bit of that i'm pretty sure you guys probably seen unboxing videos where they did this to metro kingdom and they showed you guys all this so it's like Basically, just a guide of all the cost well, not all the costumes, but some of the costumes, the moons, give me a little description of the moons and the brutals, stuff like that. So, yeah, I had to get this. It was the same price as it was if it was a game for $9.99. So, I got, got this and then the case to my Odyssey, which I'm so excited to play because I love Mario games. I played Mario on Super Nintendo. Cause I was saying before Nintendo 64 and I was getting confused with the Super Nintendo. I played on the Super Nintendo, I believe. And I think we still actually have that. The Super Nintendo is my mom. She so yeah. And then in the, I don't know if it comes like this in all the cases, but in this one, it has the Jump Up Superstar song that Pauline sings at like the ending of Metro Kingdom. So it has that. And then, you know, the game I have here is Super Mario. Oh. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but I can't wait till I get a Switch. Y'all just don't understand. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Which I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to do an unboxing on that. Y'all best believe that. All right, so the final game that I have is the one and only Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is the game I'm most excited about to play when I get the Switch is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate because I played Brawl and I... I'm sorry, baby. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I fell in love with Brawl on the Wii. I fell in love with that game. Like, I love, I still love that game. I never got a chance to play Melee. The first Smash Bros, I love Brawl. Like, the idea of playing these different characters and fighting, like, a fighting game with all your favorite characters, you know what I mean? And, like, the quirkiness and the, just the overall, just design of the way they made that game is a masterpiece. Sakurai. Came out with, you know, with the Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is the game. Okay. I think this is the game that made me go out and buy all these Switch games. Knowing darn well I didn't have a Switch yet. Or I wasn't I wasn't getting one anytime soon. But this game, I had either, whether or not I had a Switch. Just to have the idea that I had this game for when I get the Switch. It blew me away. Like, I had to get this. You know, the back has all the characters in it. On the back, let me see if I can name some. We got, and then you know, the inside it says ready to fight inside all the characters, and then I have Dragon Quest Builders 2 inside. We got Mario, Donkey Kong, Link, Samus, Dark Samus, Yoshi, Kirby, Fox, Pikachu, Luigi, Ness, Captain Falcon. We got, I'm skipping around a little bit. We got Snake, which Snake is always my favorite character because it's, it's it's like he's just the whole getting the boss thing. I feel like Ken, Ryu, freaking Sonic. We got Ridley, where he at? Ridley, Inkling, Bayonetta, I think so. We Fit Trainer and a bunch of other characters that I don't feel like naming. Oh, I freaking love playing Wario. Get on a motorcycle, running people over, or eating them. Wario, he's he's a goat. There you go. You, can, you guys can see it better now. Like this. I'm pretty sure half of you guys already seen this, but let's just say the people on my channel happen. Guys, this is my ever-growing gaming collection. As new games come out that I'm interested in, I go out and buy them. I've been a gamer since PlayStation 2. Well, yeah, since PlayStation 2, PSP, DS, freaking PS4, PS3. What else? Super Nintendo. I think I play a 64, Nintendo 64, and it's like I've just been gaming all my life. And when I grew up, I grew up on PlayStation. And I never got a chance to play Xbox. So I won't say I don't like Xbox. Xbox is cool. I mean, it's a system they play games. 
I just never really liked the controllers and I know the controllers are like that with the um, Nintendo. It's like I never really, can I have long thumbs? Like just overall large hands for no reason. And I never really liked stretching my thumb up. One thumb like this, one thumb like that. I always liked the better, it was parallel to each other, you know what I mean? Or is that the right word? It was across from each other. So I always, I adapted to the PS4 controller or PS3 controller, I'll say that. I have adapted to them. And if I was to grow up on Xbox, I'll think the same thing about PS4. Like I would, I actually want an Xbox. I want the Xbox Scarlet, I want the Xbox Five. I'm like, hopefully by then, you know, I'll be balling, big baller status, and I can have both. So I can do all types of gameplay for you guys and a gaming computer so I can do gaming stuff on PC. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of games you guys have in your collections. Go ahead and give me a list and I'll read them and we'll see what we have in common. Tell me if you felt the same about the, some of the games that I named, if you have them or wanted to try them out. Um, just let me know. And don't forget, like I said, to go follow me on Instagram and check out my Wattpad. And still let me know if you guys want me to post that, um, my fan fiction on Wattpad for you guys to read. Um, it was about like 42 chapters. They were all kind of short, so it was like, yeah, you guys go over there and laugh. Have a laugh and make fun, pick fun of the characters. I would really, <laughs> really enjoy that. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already joined Sincerely You Nation. Love you guys so much. And until next time, Sincerely You Nation, Butterflies, Ladybugs. Bye.